let's go for another ride. A little bit late on today's sunset ride, but I gotta get what I can get. I have maybe 10 minutes until the sun sets, and I have just the bike to catch it. It's the fastest bike in the collection. Our Stealth Bomber 8000 Watt. Just added some uh, fancy tail lights or undercarriage lights. Spent about an hour and a half hooking the lights up so I could be more visible. We'll do a walkthrough once we're in Santa Fe Dam. This is my only uh, third day that I've owned it. And yeah, I'm almost convinced, 90% convinced that I'm gonna be selling our Onyx. Whether it's the uh, city version or the RCR, um, I'll try to consult more with Crystal, but um, those are like more of her bike. Honestly, ever since I got this, I don't even touch the Onyx anymore. Man, this bike is just that fun. It's heavy as heck. It feels heavier than, a, than an Onyx when I'm trying to uh, lift the rear wheel. Such a beefy uh, motor in the back. Let's go, Beamer. I'm craving in and out I think I'm gonna grab in and out for Crystal and myself um, after sundown. Look at those hues. Uh, we've been having nice sunsets lately. Since I can get there within three minutes with this bike, it's like I always wanna just go see the sunset, go out for a ride every time I can. This thing gets to like 40 miles per hour before I could finish a sentence. It's nuts. And um, it is limited to 52 miles per hour only, but I know I can get it to 70. I've been doing some research. I could get it to 70 if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, because it's nuts. Woo. 50 miles per hour, just like that. zero. Max throttle. 40, 45, 51, 53, 54, 55. Holy moly. So it is, I, I fully charged it and I guess it's going 55 miles per hour now. So that's the fastest I've been. It's limited at like 82 kilometers per hour, which translates to about 52 miles per hour. I'm surprised that it went up to 55 just now, so that's cool. Yeah, I'm so tempted to have it go 70, but <laughs> it's my new toy. I don't want to burn anything or stress any motor or controllers, so. A-okay. Feels faster than an Onyx. It gets there a lot faster at top speed. Just crazy. Like before I could even finish a sentence, I already see that the speedometer at 40 miles per hour. I feel like there's so much uh, wind force that I, I, I just don't even want to talk when I'm going that fast. I cringe a little bit. I'm not a speed demon, but um, I guess what I'm just trying to say is just harder to it's harder to come up with a speech or hard to think out loud when you're going that fast. All right, we're at the bike lane. Get a little bit of an opening here. I definitely want to make a, a new meetup bike route that starts somewhere closer here, catch a sunset here, and not have to end up at a Duarte. Call me tacky all you want, but I added these car vents here because the previous owner had a hole here. He didn't know how to wire the motor wire in the in the tank, but I was able to do it. 
so he had ugly holes here so that's why I have that there uh, I was able to make shift an XC60 uh, charger here so that's a charge port there and this is the rear tail lights uh, rechargeable battery that I made last night I have it on ambient settings so it goes down there it goes down at the uh, the bottom of the bottom bracket it also goes down just beneath right beneath the just right beneath the the front fenders I'll take a moment here and take a take some photos for sure with the super 73 or aerial rider those kind of e-bikes I think uh, getting here is actually not too doesn't take too long. Maybe uh, it'll take me 10, 15 minutes to get here on that bike. I'm not complaining, but with this bike, I could get here with snap of within the snap of a finger, like three to five minutes. And buddy Greg and Kylie sometimes uh, are always here as well. I could see why they're um, they're always here around sunset time. Who wouldn't? Just look at this view, guys. Who wouldn't want to be here? The crazy thing is even nighttime, it's really nice here. All right, we've just been hanging out here for about five minutes. Got a little bit darker. Let's try to get a better view of the lights that I installed. And it's a rechargeable light. It has a remote to where I can change the, um, the color settings. Um, but I, I could also make it strobe faster. Um, but obviously I, I'm gonna go with red and um, the strobe is too kind of like alarming in my opinion So I just went with kind of like a more relaxed transition ambience But um, I hope that translates nicely on the camera. It's not completely dark yet, but That's kind of what it looks like for those red lights <laughs> It's not the brightest but I, you know, I don't like, I don't like it showing too much on the side panels. It's something I had already. It was in Charles' uh, red RX, red Super 73 RX that he traded me for. And I thought uh, it would be nicer here. It was easier to put the connections in the battery tank hidden versus the Super 73 RX wires were kind of like ex exposed. I really feel like this is overall like a better commuter bike than the Onyx. Um, just because you could mod it to the way you need it to be, right? Whether you need a stronger motor or more battery, you know, it has like a pedal assist system that can function um, the way you want it to be. And it's just actually more comfortable with the suspensions uh, in the front and the rear, just the contact points. It's not too low and just the agility of this bike, the turning ratio is so much better. Like you can um, do so much more things with it in comparison to the Onyx. The one thing the Onyx has um, over this bike is, um, I think I would say is the lights. Everything is already ready to go for you. It has signal lights. Um, it has front end headlights and tail lights already hooked up for you, ready to go. That's actually why we bought that in the first place. Um, but, you know, that's something you can actually get on your own. That's why I have these signal lights. They're not the best um, cycle wing lights, but um, you could get rechargeable lights if that's something really important for you. Um, it's not the end of the world, but with this bike, it's just so much more comfortable and fun to ride. And, you know, if you're not having fun on the ride that you have, then um, then it won't be a pleasant ride, right? And also just aesthetics. Um, I like this bike aesthetically more personally than an Onyx. Uh, but your taste could be different and that's okay. Um, I'm not knocking on the Onyx. We love the Onyx too, but I love this more. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. And the only thing the Onyx has over this bike is a uh, light connection hookups and if you're like a DIYer I'm pretty sure you could just do that on your own
and I think overall this is che a cheaper bike build for the specs of the Onyx for example if you got a 72 volt 20 amp or 41 amp I'm pretty sure this is a cheaper uh, model for the DIYers that can uh, make it their own I could stand comfortably on this bike whereas the Onyx not really, because again, it's such a low contact point bike. It's more comfortable, it's faster, and more agile, and it's just more fun. Ultimately, that translates to it being more, more of a fun bike. 100% confident. I can hit some jumps if I wanted to. All right, I think it was this park here. that I wanted to catch, there was a... Yeah, I think it's, yeah, this is the park right here. Irwindale Park. Never been, I've always passed by it. I think this might be a good um, starting point for an, an e-bike meetup in the future. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm going faster than 30 miles per hour. It's just a feeling. I mentioned in the previous video that um, your suspensions, your front end probably, I mean your rear and probably your front, definitely has to be like a, a little bit more on the rigid side if you're going in fast speeds because I had it on really soft and squishy and it was, the, mo the rear motor was jumping. It felt like, a, I felt like I was on a boat on a really choppy waters. Uh, so I changed up the suspensions and it's much more of a smoother ride now when, at high speeds. It's a little firmer, but in high speeds it's, uh, it's more smoother. That's something I, uh, I noticed pretty much. All right, we're at our neighborhood in and out So let's find the... Let's find our turn here. Go to the drive-thru. What should we get? Protein burger? Yes, the line's not too long. I got my order. Just waiting for my turn here in the drive through but that's going to be today's ride folks thank you for tuning in like and subscribe for more content check out the useful links in the description below for additional discounts on your e-bikes i have discount codes for l rider super 73 bath and kit check those out in the links below this is e-bike adventure signing out see you guys in the next ride peace